I'm Michelle Rosenman. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Psychology. I'm also a clinical scientist whose research focuses on treating anxiety and related problems. COVID is a time of intense and immense stress for all of us. And three plus months into the pandemic, we are now experiencing a time of sustained and chronic stress, which means that we are feeling overwhelmed, tired, and so are our students. While many of us are probably doing the typical self-care things like eating well, exercising, sleeping, um, having a consistent schedule, seeking social support safely, and all of those are appropriate, there are also other things we can do as educators to reduce our stress loads and help our students feel more supported. So I'd like to go through those very briefly. First, make clear what your expectations are to students so they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing in your class, including the backup plans if your teaching modality changes. And simultaneously, talk to your students about how they're feeling and doing, not just in the first class session, but throughout the quarter. That will help them feel supported and allow them to learn better. Second, recognize that we all handle stress differently. Some of us, self-included, like to talk about it often, others not so much. And so identifying how you personally handle stress will allow you to come up with effective ways to cope. Third, when you find yourself worrying, ask yourself, what can I actually do in this situation? Sometimes there's something very concrete you can do, like modify a syllabus or consult with a colleague. Other times, the only thing we can do is to manage our own emotions, reactions, and take self-care steps to respond to things that we don't have control over. Next, and this is a big one in the psychology department, be gentle with yourself. Our definitions of productivity have changed drastically from pre-COVID times, so spending extra time on course content, coming up with backup plans, talking through with colleagues how things might change, that is productivity. And so is self-care so that we can maintain sustainable teaching practices as things may change over time. And finally, um, as a mental health expert, I could not think of a more appropriate time to pursue professional mental health services than in a pandemic. So if you are feeling like stress is getting in the way of your life, or you just want someone to talk to who is an objective outside person not in your daily life, the university has a tremendous number of resources both on and off campus.